Is it usually like this? Like what? Not catching anything? What do you mean not catching anything? <laughs> what is up you guys and welcome to another episode of Fishing the North. I know it's been a little while since my last upload, but we are on something special today. Uh, Kirsten and I are actually heading out for something that I've never fished for on the channel before, and that is burbot. Uh, they go by a lot of names, like Lincod, Lawyer, um, around here we just call them burbot though. We heard that there's a pretty good bite going on, so we're going to go check it out. The lake conditions are pretty good, it's nice and flat, um, not supposed to be crazy windy or anything. So it's going to be overcast though, unfortunately, the, uh, the sun's going to pass and... Uh, Maybe that'll help out the bite though, you never know. Uh, it's a pretty clear lake. So we are going to go get the ATV. Before I start the video off though, I just wanna say something real quick. I've been going into the analytics a little bit more recently. I've noticed that about 95% of my viewers are unsubscribed from my channel. So not, not that I'm gonna be begging for, for subs or anything, but uh, subs do really help out the channel. So if you guys do appreciate uh, some some decent uh, f fishing action. I would really appreciate it if you guys uh, did take the time to go out and subscribe. Um, I'm planning on uh, uploading a lot more now that things are kind of changing and won't be working as much and whatnot. So if you guys like fishing content, hit that sub button. Feel free to uh, sauce a like or whatever. We will get on with the video. Catch up with you guys once we are at the lake. So I just wanted to take this time to touch on something I felt that I missed throughout the video and that's just our rod and reel combination use for um, burbot fishing. So what we were using on that outing was a 36 inch heavy rod paired with a 2500 series uh, Shimano reel. Now you can go ahead and use any kind of line you want. We use 10 pound braid and a uni to uni knot with 8 pound fluorocarbon uh, and that was about an 18 inch long leader. Um, and then we tied that to a swivel just so that we could kind of change baits uh, quickly and easily. So basically as long as you've got a decent length rod uh, with enough backbone to get a good hook set, you'll be all set for burbot fishing. Is it usually like this? Like what? Not catching anything? What do you mean not catching anything? <laughs> Be a lake show here. <laughs> Let's see her. You're really run. I have so much line twist, it's actually terrible. My line sounds greasy. Alright, it's gotta be close now. My leader. Oh, it's a burbot. Oh. Ooh. Hey, he's got reverse on. Quit that. <laughs> Not a bad one. Look at that. That's a thick little guy. Eh? He was barely even hooked. Just around. Alrighty guys. <laughs> As you can see, you can get them to straighten out, which they never do. <laughs> straighten out, buddy. They're so strong, it's actually ridiculous. Here's our first burbot of the day. Probably about, I don't know, 25, 26 inches in length. Really healthy fish, you can see. Oh, stop that. Pretty big gut on them there. And uh we're just about 26 feet of water. I was just smashing this jig off bottom here. This little pink jig with uh, a Mr. Twister. And uh, he came up and he crushed that. He didn't even hesitate. So you can see, I'll show you up close. But uh, really pretty fish. Really cool patterns on them. Very, very cool creatures. <laughs> Your turn. Your turn to catch one. Look at this guy. Beautiful fish. Nice thick little one. Wicked. Right as you were talking about, what, what were you talking about? Not catching anything or something? Hmm. There's number one. Love it. Oh, get him. 
Get him. Oh, there's another one down there. Oh, no, that's him. Never mind. Oh, no, that's really not him. He's giving her. <laughs> Holy crap. Should I be down there still? Should I reel up? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna reel up just in case. That sounds like a bigger fish. He's mad. He's mad, yeah, I'd say. You're just getting him off bottom right now. <laughs> He's still Rickman. Jeez, Come Louise. On, why are you I'm trying? Why are your arms out like that? I don't know. Let's keep it up. Oh, I see him. Oh, it's a big burbot. Oh, that's a big burbot. I wonder if the camera can see him way down there. Probably not. Is he coming? Oh yeah, he's starting to. Uh. You got the leader? Oh yeah, there he is. Hello, buddy. Right in the, in the corner of his mouth again. <laughs> and he's out. That's another big one. That's a long one. Holy crow. Right in the corner of his mouth. Alright. And... This guy is technically foul hooked, so we gotta let him go. Cause you didn't catch him in his mouth. What? But that is a, that's a big healthy burb. Big healthy burb. Show him off here. So my guess is he probably bumped it and missed it. Whoo, jeepers creepers. He's huge. Yeah, that's a big one. It's another nice one. Ow, he's biting my thumb. You can see? <laughs> he's really pissed. Ew, his tongue just like licked me. Ow, so let go. Like All right, buddy. No. What? No, you, with a with a snag of fish, you gotta let it go right away. Always oh, backing down. Look at him. Look at him. look at his reverse gear. He's not happy. Oh. I'll let you back. Oh. Oh. No, you're gonna reverse down. He's good. Yep, he's go? under the ice. Yeah, he's good. There he goes. Look at him go. Skirt. High five. Well done. Try not to snag him next time. Maybe we'll be able to keep him. That's what you get, loser. He gave you your shot. Oh, I don't need to No, you don't. Wow. Literally I naughty. Pay for not paying attention, I guess. Yep, because he did. He did, he hit you for yeah, sure. He did hit me. Let's see if I can see him in the hole. Oh, I lost him. No, no way. No, it was a big one. Oh, as if he shook off. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah. Oh. There is. <laughs> there most definitely is one here. He did not even hesitate to smack your jig. <laughs> He's not very happy. Mm -mm. Not very happy. Oh, there he is. He's backwards. Oh, oh. 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 And there he goes. Nita, he's not ready. Oh, he's way down there. <laughs> Just brought you all the way back down to bottom. Yeah, he did. He really did. They're really liking the Meeks today. His tail. Oh, this is a little guy. Just a little guy. Oh, he's all wrapped. Poor guy. Man, another foul hooked one. We gotta change your lure here. Just a little guy. Let's see if I can show him off really quick. Come on. Just a, whoops. Just a little, a little wee guy. Just a little one. We're gonna let him go. Oh, easy, buddy. Easy, buddy. Yo, see ya. He did not want to stick around. 
that's for darn sure. Alrighty, so just to do a little bit of a midday update, we have now caught, how many burbs have we caught? Four? Five burbs. Four? You've caught three and I've caught one? Yeah. And then I just missed one. It was a pretty big one too, sadly. Um, and we've, we've been doing pretty good. Uh, what we've done is uh, we've moved up on top of this shoal here. Sorry if the wind's bad. Um, we're in about 23 to 24 feet of water and we are just pounding bottom uh, really hard. The cadence is kind of just like up and down, just working the bait really hard in that, uh, in that mud that's down there. And then what we'll do is we'll lift it up about maybe six inches off bottom. Just watch the sonar, see if anything's moving in beneath it. Um, and they've just been crushing it. So our go-to baits have kind of been, uh, this guy here is a little foxy. Um, but we've been using the Meigs and it looks the exact same just without the, the skirt. And what we did was we tipped it with a white Mr. Twister, uh, Twister tail. And, uh, I think it's the three inch size and they've been absolutely crushing that. Kirsten's kicking my butt. She's caught three. I've caught only one. And, uh, what I'm using is just a good old fashioned white tube jig, uh, I think mine has a 7 8 ounce uh, head in it with a, uh, a rattle actually, it's got a rattle. So that guy's been working pretty well for us as well. So we're going to fish for a couple more hours and hopefully we can clean up, uh, get a couple more topside and maybe even another lake trout. That'd be pretty wicked. Stay tuned. On. Got one. I do. Boom. Coming up off bottom. Oh my god, just cranking it. Maybe slamming. Burbot number six. Yeah. That seems about right. I should have said fuck. Oh buddy. And there we go. He is still trying to swim. He is unsure of what's going on right now. Just trying to get around. See him? <laughs> He's waving hello to the camera. And I think we're gonna let this one go because there's another one coming up to my jigging wrap right now. No get down there, get down there. Get down there, get down there. Go, 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 go down the hole, go down the hole. Go down the hole. Go down the hole. Get, go down the hole. Get down, oh buddy. There we go. I don't think he did. He didn't get spooked. You can see there's a couple fish on the screen again. Another. Oh my god, these things are so strong when you, if you try to straighten them out. Like, I actually can't. Just straight muscle. Just straight muscle. Now, yeah, so I'm gonna get this one back. I'm gonna see if we can get another. Ow, let go of my thumb. Ow, <laughs> jerk. Look at that, my thumb's all ripped up. Get him, get him, get him down there. Oh my god. That's weird, eh? He's losing color a little. He's straight. He is straight. Holy jeez. For once. All right, let's let her go. So slick. A little slick. And he's gone. Bye bye. So for those of you who made it to the end of the video, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. Hope you guys found this entertaining and informative. And as always, if you guys aren't subscribed already, uh, please consider subscribing because we will be putting out plenty of content that is going to be just like this. We're only, only improving. So don't forget to hit that like button, uh, share it, and we will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.